Hi there. I'm Big Tom LaPointe with Preston Automotive Group. You are watching Tom and Les Talk Trucks with... Les Shari, the Ford Commercial Truck Manager at Preston. Probably your, your smartest, wisest, and most knowledgeable commercial truck specialist in the United States, if not the world. And Les, uh, this is just a real quick conversation with our viewers on kind of an overview of commercial vehicles for 2021. Uh, a lot of things are different this year and a lot of things are getting better this year. And I think one of the one of the things you're most excited about is Ford Pass being on commercial vehicles. Oh, my gosh, man. It is amazing um, to see the advances that Ford has made for the commercial customer. I mean, you know, you got a Ford Pass now on everything and you can track your vehicles. You know what fuel. I mean, it's amazing if you have it checked it out you really need to go online google it check it out it's an amazing thing that ford has done for the commercial consumer so ford pass um everything on a commercial vehicle that that a, that a consumer vehicle's got as far as so one of the one of the cool things for me as a user is the remote start from the, the space station anywhere you've got an internet connection you can generally get a remote start to your vehicle so cold mornings hot afternoons you don't get in there and 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 could, you know continue sweating if it's if it's hot and, and cold you're comfortable when you get in there but from a commercial standpoint for a business owner why is that special for them well here's one thing that you know is, is huge about it is a uh, guy's at a job site he locks his keys in his truck if you've got ford pass all you got to do is hit the button from your your phone and actually unlock the truck for the car you know for the guy you know if versus having to drive out there with the extra keys unlock the truck you know you don't have to do that anymore you can unlock it. You can put 10 vehicles per email. You just go into it, bring up his VIN number, hit the button, and I'll unlock the truck for him. And, and the other way around. If you get called away from a job site unexpectedly, you can log in there and lock it up. Um, but if you've got, whether you got one truck or 10 trucks or 20 trucks, one of the other things you can do is monitor where the vehicles are. Oh, yes. Um, monitor them, um, fuel economy. Um, you know, the great thing is you get an email if there's a problem. I mean, an email come in that, hey, there's a, um, a warranty or there's a recall. You know, it's just a great feature. And to be honest with you, it's going to save a lot of people money because they're no longer going to have to go outside and have GPS put in their vehicles. They're going to be able to do it right through Ford Pass. And a lot of them are coming with 4G LTE uh, modems in them too so yeah you can use your cell phone but but my experience with the L the, the 4g in a vehicle you got a stronger antenna you got a little better range you got a little little better communication everybody maybe you got some people that don't have coverage in an area they can still get to their work since so many business people in in, in the field are living on the internet that's that's way bigger than just having your kids be able to watch uh, and play Pokemon in the backseat of a car. Well, I mean, I, I was, I just, you know, I told you earlier, you know, I, I was in a 2021 F-150 yesterday. It was a platinum. I mean, the truck was loaded. It was beautiful. Um, we're actually delivering it today to a customer, a commercial customer, but it has a workstation in it. It's where you can fold open the console. You have a flat surface, lay your laptop out, whatever it is, and you can work right from there. I mean, it's, the truck just blew me away. I'm driving a 2020 F-150, and I'm like, wow, I can't wait to get in a 2021. Right. Dang it, I should have waited. Yes. Um, and again, as, as a business owner, and, and if you're the owner of the company going out to a job site, he, he, some of the options as far as, as being able to, to the XLs like we were talking about, equipped as nice and what the features and the safety features that you might have had in an XLT 10 years ago or didn't exist, and now an XLT is something you can get off work, change your clothes, pick up your wife and go to dinner well, if you have to. I tell you, you know, Ford has gone above and beyond with the new safety features. I mean, one vehicle I'll bring it out to you is the new Transit van. I mean, it's got frontal collision. I mean, it's got lane keeping system. I mean, Bliss, everything is on this van and it's standard equipment. Where in the old days, you would have to order it as an option. Not no, no, not anymore. It's all standard and it, I mean, Ford is going above and beyond to make their vehicles more safe, not only for the normal consumer, but also our commercial people. Bliss, meaning the blind spot detection so you don't accidentally run somebody off the road, um, which is a benefit whether you're in an F-250, 450, 550, or, or an Echo Sport. It can, it can make a difference if, if you didn't realize someone was, was in the blind spot. Um, talking about transits, though, 
Transit's always been the leader in commercial application in the United States, but about to get bigger because Nissan's going away. They're, they, they've given up trying to compete with Ford. Yeah, I mean, they're going to get out of the commercial business, and it's understandable. It's hard to compete with the big dogs, you know, and that's us, you know, Ford. But, you know, if you've never really driven a Transit or a Transit Connect van, you need to come out to the dealership and just drive one one day. It will t- totally will amaze you um, with the way it handles, the the – way you can see there's not a lot of blind spots and the vans are so roomy and very 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 comfortable to drive so versatile no matter what kind of business you can equip them from anything from a flower shop to a plumbing business um easy to drive if if you're the owner but but for me from a business standpoint easy for your staff to drive and safer for your staff to drive because last thing you want is is a ding on your insurance because you had someone that was being careful and something still still went wrong um, 2021 uh, continues some of the challenges we had in 2020 with regard to availability. We we were used to having basically train loads of trucks rolling into the dealership second half of the year. We didn't get that. How do we look for this year? Um, how does that affect a business as far as planning their fleet? Like I don't think you'd want to wait till November to to think about what you're going to stock up with if you're if you're a, a business well, person. Well, currently, I mean, inventories is kind of slim i mean um you know i know ford's going to be busting it and really getting it you know getting it together but i mean COVID did set us all back i mean it set ford back it set back the guys that manufacture parts for us i mean we're probably a third of the inventory we normally carry but we're you know we're slowly seeing it trickle in um we're doing our best to you know make sure we have the inventory that our customers want if you're going to wait to november december can't make you no promises i don't know i i in years past, I would say, you know, you're going to be able to get it all year long. But with what we see from the body companies, some of them are 10 and 18 weeks out from even getting a body on a truck. So you really got to think ahead. Um, I'm going to try to help. I'm going to try to think for you and have it on the ground. So when you're ready for it, you know, you'll get come and get it and we'll have it ready to deliver. We, ha- we have a lot more options than most. Just about any dealer in the country, we we're going to have more but but we're not even given you know able to get our hands on as many as we're used to and to your point um not just are some of the vehicles with ford uh having a problem with with chip supplies i mean try, having to take them out of other vehicles and get them into commercial vehicles to make sure that production line's rolling but the upfitters they're they're competing with all of the suppliers for things down to nuts and bolts to to to, to assemble things so well, all that is a you factor. Know, it's, it's like I said before. I mean, when Ford shut down, I mean, so did all the bo- um, the, the parts people, you know. We deal heavily with a lot of the body companies, and we have a great relationship, but they're on the same struggle as us. And when they have pool chassis coming in from Ford or Chevy, wherever, and they're not getting them, then they can't build it and get it to us either. So for us, we just have to be smart this year, make sure that we're keeping the inventory that people need, but at the same time, not carry too much to the point where, you know, it's left over at the end of the year. Well, and and we always are, are good at managing that. And we're always good at doing everything we can. And a lot of times being able to get things done for a customer that a, that, a, that another dealer wouldn't even know to ask. So um, plan early, coordinate with you and your team. That, the biggest thing is, is communication, understanding where we are right now, correct? Yes, I mean... And if you, you know, we still can order vehicles. I um, mean, before where a vehicle will be eight to 10 weeks, it may be a little bit longer now. But the biggest thing is if you got any needs or any questions at all or want an off-site demo, you know, just give me a call. My number is 410-443-8921. Call me. If I can't bring it to you, I'll send one of my guys out with it. I've got Emil. I've got Dave Sutton. You know, we've been doing it a long time. So we really, really, really want to make sure our customers taken care of, work for a great organization that allows us to stock inventory and make sure that we take care of our customers and make them number one. So Preston Ford Commercial Center serving the entire Eastern Seaboard and in many cases, the entire United States. Les Shirey, I'm Big Tom LaPointe. Thanks for tuning in.